How to get rid of an insistent competitor. Never thought of taking over the competitor and merging the competing company into your own corporation? Purchasing another company sounds like a simple maneuver, but should be prepared well. Such a transaction needs a lot of money. If the target company, which our corporation wants to take over, is not willing to agree to the takeover, then we are talking about a hostile takeover which comes with additional considerations. In the first step, we need to ask ourselves, why should we acquire exactly this company? Of course, there can be many reasons. In our scenario, we simply want to consolidate the market to reduce price competition, which could decrease our profits. The reason is that the target company is continuously trying to capture our market share with very low prices. Whereas this is beneficial to, to the consumers, having significantly lower prices to pay for a product. This is harmful for the sustainable business model of a corporation. The margins and profits will diminish quickly. And even if companies start to sell products below their costs, the corporation soon will make huge losses and eventually go bankrupt. Taking over a competitor in your market is regarded as horizontal integration, which means increasing the output at the same level of the value chain in the same industry. For a successful outcome of a hostile takeover, a careful analysis of the potential benefits and risks is needed. What is the amount of money needed to purchase the target company and how to finance the takeover? Are the benefits from the investments higher than the invested money? For a hostile takeover, this is not always clear, since we have less information available because the target company's management is not cooperating with us. What defense tactics of a target company are in place to avoid the hostile takeover? First, to finance the transaction, in many cases, the needed capital is borrowed from a bank. Financing the takeover via debt is called a leveraged buyout or LBO. Of course, the acquiring company must make sure to not over leverage debt. If after the takeover the debt cannot be serviced, this transaction can lead to insolvency or bankruptcy. And why should a bank borrow money for a hostile takeover? For banks, takeovers can be an attractive business. A takeover can come with higher margins and as a security, the debt could be backed up by the target company's assets. This is called senior debt. If the debt is not backed up by securities, it is a junior debt. Second, the benefits of the takeover are greater than the costs of the takeover if simply in the long run, the profits exceed the investment. This is called an opportunistic Purchase. In other cases, the reason for a takeover could be strategic, as in our scenario, where we want to reduce competition to achieve a high profitability of our business model and avoid price wars with the target company. Third, a target company can defend itself against the hostile takeover. There are counter strategies to hostile takeovers, which have been observed in the economy. A company could activate a shareholder rights plan or so-called poison pill. The idea is to issue new shares with a discount to existing shareholders except for the acquiring company. This increases the price for the takeover because the existing shareholders now even possess more. And this poison pill could discourage the acquiring company to proceed with the hostile takeover due to higher costs. Ultimately, the target company could avoid a hostile takeover by trying to buy the would-be acquiring company by itself. It means the target company turns the tables and instead getting purchased by the acquiring company, the target company buys the acquiring company on its own. Sounds unrealistic, but it's real. A well-known example is the attempt of the automobile brand Porsche to take over the Volkswagen Group. 
by slowly acquiring more and more shares of the Volkswagen Group, suddenly Porsche ran out of money due to the financial crisis in 2007 and 2008. Immediately, banks asked Porsche to pay back their loans. In this very critical situation for Porsche, the Volkswagen Group presented themselves as rescuing to Porsche. Volkswagen loaned Porsche the money to pay back their debt and eventually took over Porsche. This defensive strategy to turn the tables in a hostile takeover is called Pac-Man defense, named after the popular video game. In this special situation, the Volkswagen Group is also called a white knight, since takeover eventually was supported by the Porsche Group management and saved the Porsche Group from bankruptcy. But now, let's leave this defense tactics aside. In our session today, we will attempt a hostile takeover in the business simulation game Capitalism Lab. Capitalism Lab simulates our real-life economy. Starting your own corporation, you can apply and try out business strategies, which you can see with well-known companies in real life. In Capitalism Lab, you will have the chance to take over competitors over the stock market. You can gradually increase your stake in companies in 5 percentage point steps. Hostile takeovers are also occurring in our real world. There are several examples for hostile takeover attempts. You can ask an AI chatbot Give me examples of companies being subject to a successful hostile takeover. And now, let's start the game. This is the main menu of the game. We will this time load a game. And before we start to take over a competitor, let's first get an overview over the scenario. This scenario started on the 1st of January 1990. We already advanced to the 1st of April of 1991. We are in a scenario with four cities from Cairo over Amsterdam, Leipzig and Kingston. Whereas Cairo with more than 4 million inhabitants is the, high, is the city with the highest number of inhabitants. It has a lower real wage rate than the other cities. Amsterdam is on second place with one point, almost 1.9 million inhabitants, a high wage rate. Leipzig and Kingston still below 1 million inhabitants having a medium range real wage rate. Our own business model, I will show you. Our company is called LP Corporation. We are still in the first year. LP Corporation invests into jewelry and watches. And it is a fully vertically integrated company. This means, if possible, the natural resources are harvested or mined by themselves. Our corporation is producing their own products in their own factories and selling the end products in their own retail stores and jewelry stores to the end consumers. Therefore, the company owns mines, a farm, R&D centers to improve in the production technology, factories, retail stores and one headquarters. If you look in the income statement, we already achieved an operating revenue in last month of 41 million. So it's already a um, healthy company. Even operational expenses are below the operating revenue. This means there's an operating profit since the last month, as we see in the bottom of the screen, with more than $2 million. Also year to date, we already achieved an operating profit of almost $1 million. In terms of brand and advertisement, we choose a range brand. This means that for each product class, which is jewelry with three products and watches, also with three product types, um, we have our own brand. And the brand rating 
has been raised a lot in the past month. A lot of advertisement lead to a high brand rating and already due to the good, good um, quality of our products, the brand loyalty slowly begins to increase. increase. Now let's check out how we perform in our jewelry stores. First of all, there's a message here at the bottom. We see here that the research and development of silver necklace production technology already increased, which is good. So we can increase prices or we will have a better product rating um, for end, our end consumers since the product quality increased. We will just simply for one more year um, continue with research and development. We are now in the city of Amsterdam. We have two jewelry and watch stores, one selling our jewelry, one selling our watch. And this is the case for each of the four cities. Let's first check out our watches. We see that in all of our, for all of our watches, the demand here, the red bar is higher than the supply, the yellow bar. So this means we are not producing as much as we can sell. And we see a very good overall rating of our products. Yeah, here um, we are well exceeding the city average. So we have a lot of room for price increases since increased price still will lead to a much higher overall rating of our product compared to our local competition. For jewelry, we are in a similar situation. Also here, for example, gold rings in Amsterdam have a higher overall rating than the city average, the local distributors, and the demand is higher than the supply. What we see also is despite having a good overall rating due to a high brand, good quality, good pricing, we see in the market share chart here, the pie chart that except us marked in yellow, there's a competitor also active in this market. For bracelets, we see here an emerging competitor and necklaces, we also see an emerging competitor. And this actually, this blue brand is Gridworks. We will have a closer look later. Let's also check the other cities in our jewelry stores. Here again, Gridworks appears in our pie charts. So it seems to be in all of the cities or almost all of the cities, an emerging competitor looking to capture some of our market share, capture some of our market we want to hold. We have here also another brand suddenly appearing, but it's only very scarcely, um, not really um, in the same in the same manner as Gridworks. We see this in Kingston. If we look in Cairo, also here we see that it starts to show up the competitor. Amsterdam, let's quickly also check Amsterdam. We also see here that um, for silver necklaces, bracelets, the competitor is showing up and trying to capture the market share and compete against us. Let's check the competitor out. Gridworks is our competitor with color blue. If we first look into the income statement, we see that our competitor is not doing well. There's still an operating loss. Last month, 1 million. Year to date, more than 5 million. So the company is not in the best date. Also for the lifetime, which is more one than a year in the simulation, it's way below being profitable. It made losses of almost 19 million so far. If we look into the products this company is selling, we see bracelets, we see watches, and we see silver necklace. Seems to be similar to our business model, looking to invest into the same into the same industry. We see that already since a long time here for Gridworks, the company is having losses. Yeah? Though it seems that in the last month, maybe or last two months, it improves a little bit, but really profitable. The company was never profitable. This is the CEO. 
the CEO is Russell Navarro. And if we check Russell Navarro, we see that he has an expertise in jewelry. So the expectation that this competitor will always try to be active and compete against us in the industry of jewelry and watches is very high, very high probability. So we cannot assume that this competitor will leave this industry to us because we are stronger positioned. It seems to be someone who really wants to compete against us and wants to stay within our own industry. And now our idea is that not competing in a price war with this competitor, instead we will take the competitor over. We will try on the stock market to gradually increase our shares in this company so that after we acquired uh, the high enough number of shares, the high enough stake in the company, we acquire it and merge it in our own company and stop the price wars. Let's check the stock market. This is the stock market. Grid works is here last in the list. And we see, which is not a surprise, that due to the losses, the um, company has a decreasing stock price. Yeah, for now it's only $2.80. We as LP Corporation are already a shareholder. So until the 1st of April 1991, we already started to buy shares from this company. It's now 26.55 percentage points we have from this company. With 50%, we gain control, but actually cannot execute the control in the simulation capitalism lab to execute control on the um, company and really merge it into our own company, we need to acquire 75%. So another 50% of stake to be bought on the stock market. Public shareholders have more than 50%. So this should be enough for now. When we check the stock news, um, you may come stumble upon this number Y26.55. We see something interesting here, what our competitor already did. see all stock news now. What you can find here in the news is that already at a certain point in time, the Gridworks company issued new shares. The reason, of course, is not revealed to us. Yeah, it's a competitor and the CEO, Russell Navarro, will take its own decisions. However, there could be two possibilities. One possibility is the need for fresh money. Yeah, issuing shares means more money, more cash. If you're doing a lot of losses, you're probably in a stage where you want and where you need more cash. And this could be one reason. Another reason could be issuing new shares to the public shareholders, of course, dilutes the LP corporation, our corporation's position into the company. So this reduced our share, our stake into the company already. And probably if we continue to buy more packages and the company is still not being profitable and in need of cash, this will happen again. And actually is something similar to a poison pill. The price we have to pay increases. More shares to be bought from public shareholders means for us more money to invest into the takeover. A stock value of the 50% or 56%, 57% almost from the public shareholders is more than 80 million. We have in cash only 8 million. So at the moment, we cannot afford to buy all. And actually, when we buy stocks from a company in this simulation game, we can only buy chunks of 5 percentage points. Afterwards, due to the high demand, when you buy 5 percentage points of shares from a company, the stock price increases. So it gets, if you buy more and more and more, it gets more expensive and more expensive. So we will do it in short steps. We will first of all buy one or two packages of five percentage points, then look for managing our company well to earn much more money, increase our profits and with increasing profits and more cash um, finance this takeover so that as much as we can, we will avoid borrowing money from banks to finance a takeover. However, a portion of it we could we could loan from the banks, so we would follow the path of an LBO or leverage buyout. So let's start to buy shares, right? We will buy from public shareholders with our LP corporation, increase our stake. We'll buy now another package of five percentage points. 
And since the stock price is still acceptably low, very low actually, with $3.08, we'll buy another package on this. We have now invested already a few millions. We have only 4 million left on our bank account. So you leave it for now. We are looking to opportunities to generate more money with our business model. So we will increase wherever possible the price in our jewelry and watch stores yeah, where we have no competition and we are way better than our local competitors. We will increase the prices in this case a lot. Still demand is very, very high. That's why we can afford to lose some of our customers, of course, due to extensive price increases now. We do this now in all cities. No, this was too much. With all of our products, except where we have an intense competition, yeah. We don't want to lose our market share. This was for Amsterdam, not Slaudok for Leipzig. And Leipzig for silver. This is a this is a silver watch. All silver watch can be sold at a much better price. Here we have an competition situation. No competition. By the way, also grid works, yeah. The company we want to take over. Here we have some room. We will leave it due to the competition in Leipzig. Now going to Kingston. Yeah, we will leave all of this here. Yeah, we have an opportunity to increase a bit. For our watches, the silver watch, we can increase a lot. Here we have a competition situation, but still, yeah. Our rating is much, much higher. So there could be some room. No competition. Here you see also the rules of the markets. Yeah, If there's no competition or little competition, you can increase prices a lot. If you have a competitional situation, then of course consumers will benefit from it. However, the profitability of the business model of the companies is impacted. We leave this. We have in Cairo here in the second CBD our watch store. You also see the lower prices compared to other cities. This is due to the real wage rate. Yeah, so the buying power of the consumers is significantly less than the other cities. That's why we have significantly lower prices. So whenever you um, ship your own produced goods into a city with a lower wage, real wage rate, you always be cautious in that you need to reduce prices compared to other cities. And if you have freight costs in addition to it, then this will um, even more eat up your margin. However, in this case, since we are selling jewelry and watches, the freight cost is really, really low. Yeah, you can ship um, watches and jewelry around the world. This is not too costly. And therefore, um, this works very well at the moment. You are back in Amsterdam. Let's move on the simulation for one month. We are now in the month of April. 1st of May. Our profitability increased a lot, of course, due to price increases. Our consumers are still buying our products. We um, gained now um, cash more than 8 million, enough money to buy another stake from our competitor. Here's Gridworks. We will use our cash and buy from the low price of $3.33.
another two packages. We have now 42, almost 43 percentage point in Gridworks. Interestingly, let's check the stock news. What you see here on April 20, so between 1st of April when we bought significantly more shares, and then 1st of May we even bought more shares. In between on 20th of April, Gridworks issued new shares. Why? We don't know, of course. It's North I take over. The management is not cooperative, will not reveal to the real intentions. However, this decreased our stake into the company and made our takeover more expensive. However, we are really, we want to really, really avoid the price wars. And this is not so much that the price increases a lot for our side takeover. So we would just continue with our strategy. Let's now again check in our stores. This is more like micromanagement now. Yeah, the quality of our, the overall rating of our product is still increasing since we are investing into our brand a lot. You see this here, advertisement more than 400K yeah, in our silver watch per month. So there's a lot of room to further increase the price. Also here, this one. Okay, Leipzig, let's check our position. Remember, we need the money to finance our takeover. Yeah, maybe a bit. Not too much due to the competition. This was Leipzig, now going to Kingston. So very intense competition we see here. So we better not touch this. You know, the city average um, oil rating is not too bad. Why? Because the price is very low. This is a price war, I would say. Yeah, we have a price for bracelets now below 600, you know, 537 from city average. We have two competitors trying to capture more market share. Actually, it harms us. You see here the profit line is going down a little bit. Also, supply is higher than demand. So this is what we want to reduce. This is what we don't want. That's why we are looking for an opportunity to take over Gridworks, one of the competitors we have. Watches. Let's go to Cairo. Maybe a little bit. This is fine. And here we have the watch store. Let's quickly check it out. Yeah. Demand is very, very high. And our product rating is also very high. Still have some room. Our back in Amsterdam. Let's simulate the next month of May 1991. Let's just simply wait until the simulation completes. Again, we see at 1st of June 1991 that um, our profits increase. We have now 11 millions on our bank account. Let's buy another, another one or two packages from Gridworks. Now the stock price rose to more than four dollars, so the company seems to do do better. Yeah, which is not good for us actually. We'll buy. Let's buy two packages, and now a big corporation takes control of Gridworks. The reason is that we now own more than 50% in 
in the company. This means that the company is already shown as our, no, it's not thrown as subsidiary here, but if we look here into our own corporations, we see that Gridworks is already belonging to us. However, within Capitalism Lab, Lab this business simulation game, we cannot execute our control. Yeah? There's no option to change any setting to do anything. And also, we are still only, we only have um, the ability to buy or set up new stores or factories or whatever assets for our own company, the LP Corporation, not for the company we want to take over and we have already gained control of. So this means for now, we need to continue buying more shares to reach the level of 75%. From 75% onwards, we can actually execute our control. We can hire a new CEO, we can change the company strategy, we can buy assets from them, we can sell assets, we can do everything like we were our CEO by our own. It would be a real subsidiary of our company in this situation. So we will do exactly the same as before. We will now look into our product ratings in each city, look for opportunities to increase prices so that, so that we can increase our income with then higher income. We can even more quickly Take over our competitor here showing up yeah, another time. Also here, this was Amsterdam. Let's now check Leipzig. Our silver watch is really it's a very good product rating, no competition. So a lot of room to, to increase prices. Oops, this was the map. Now in Kingston, same again, micromanagement. But in the end, is this worth it? Still very heavy competition here. Price seems to fall still. Price war. We see here all silver watch is a very good position in the market. We can keep increasing prices. Yeah, let's keep it like that. And now check Cairo. Yeah, so we could increase due to our um, good strategy of using a range brand, having synergies within the same product class, which is watches and jewelry. We increased um, already our brand a lot, which increases also, oh, this was too much, which increases also our overall product rating. And um, this allows us to increase a little, oh, this was maybe too much. This allows us to increase prices. Higher margins mean more profits. Still demand is very high. I think there was one issue in one of the factories here, this one. 
This factory only has a utilization of 33%. This usually shows there's a significant issue. In this case, we see that the two manufacturing units are not actually producing. Yeah, they have a fully produced their trunk of work, but they cannot deliver it because they're not connected to the sales unit. This is an error in the layout. So this way it should work in the future. Okay. Now let's go back here. Continue the next month simulation. First of July, 1991, we still keep increasing our profitability. We have now 60 million. Let's check what we can achieve with this one. Nothing significant happened in the month of June, as we see here. The stock price increased, maybe due to our acquisitions at the same time, also probably the company improved in their financial figures. We will buy. One more package. Even one more. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for it. So now we have, um, we own almost 68% of grid works. So we're getting closer to 75%. In our own income st statement, let's first check grid works income statement. We see the company is still doing bad. Yeah, high losses, almost 30 million in lifetime. Not good. Actually, yeah, there's a, in this situation, there's always a risk that this company goes bankrupt before we can take it over. So let's complete the transaction really soon. In our own income statement, this looks really nice. Operating profit last month, more than 8 million. Year to date, 20 million. Half the year completed. Lifetime is 9 million. So we could already overcompensate our losses. And let's now again check yeah, if we have improved, uh, we have opportunities to even further if we have, this was too much, to even further increase our prices due to our still improving brand awareness. and therefore overall product rating. Kingston. Since we are not gaining so much in the last months, it's not possible in all of our cities. This was Kingston, now Cairo. Let's quickly check. This looks all fine. And now the watch store we have here. This is still, okay, again, grid works. Yeah, we will leave it for now. Let's move on with another month. Making money to buy more shares of our competitor we want to take over. Now 1st of August, 20 million on our bank account. Let's check how far we can get with this one. So still the share price is high. So it seems like the remaining shareholders see that someone is trying to take over the company and the, the less residual shares are on the stock market, the more the shareholders will expect that there's a takeover taking place and that the company already committed to 68 percentage point in our case will also buy the rest. Yeah, therefore the price increases and as the demand, it's a usual happening in an economy, if demand increases, supply decreases, you're buying more and more shares, the price rises. Yeah, in this case, this happens here for this company. 
but we are really focused and we want to achieve it. So let's continue what we started. So now we have 72.97, almost 73 percentage points. This means not much left. Let's complete it for now and put an end to this price war. We need now two, a little bit more than 2%. Let's buy 2.5% to another 2 million. We have this, we have 70 million debt, so no issue. We bought it now and ta -da, what you see, 78, almost 78 percentage points. So now it's our subsidiary. We own the company now. So in Capitalism Lab, a new scenario, if you will try to accomplish the same, look for buying more than 75 percentage points of shares. Um, this time we did not borrow money from the bank. We invested all of our equity, our own money, yeah, what we earned from our profits into this takeover, which is good. We could have also borrowed money from the bank. This time it was not needed. Um, however, there will be another reason why we potentially just in a few minutes will borrow money. I will show you. For now, let's check how this looks like. So Gridworks shows now here second in the overview, not last position, second position. It's actually now our subsidiary. This means that um, we can directly act on the company. As we have Russell Navarro still as chief executive officer with expertise jewelry, let's think of how to manage the situation. We could simply leave it as it is. What this would mean? Still, Russell Navarro, expertise jewelry, would try to manage to be active in the jewelry business, and this will still harm us. Yeah, it will be another brand having their own supply chain and trying to get market share and we will fight against each other. This does not make sense at all. So what we are looking for is um, a separation of our businesses. Yeah, We will establish LP Corporation as a company being active in jewelry market, watch market and probably other markets and our newly acquired company. We will take away this part of the business and refocus their business into something else. This is possible because that strategy is diversified. This means they are not investing into one product product class or similar product classes um, alone. Yeah. So they have something else. And if we check the firms, we see that they have commercial buildings, they have apartment buildings, so, and they have a farm. So there's other things are going on. It's not only jewelry and watch stores. It's not only one factory producing silver necklaces, by the way, it's also real estate. Yeah. And maybe we'll allow them to also invest into a totally different business we are not concerned with. But does it work with an with um oh, with um an CEO with expertise jewelry? Probably not. Yeah. And this is why we will, what sometimes happen in such cases with the Northside takeover, we will actually fire him. Yeah, To fire him, first step is to establish a an headquarter and hire a new CEO. So we established our own headquarter in the city of Amsterdam. And since I don't expect that um, Gridworks as an headquarter, we will now set up a new one. Now with having control over more than one companies, we see here we have besides LP Corporation also the choice to act in a, a CEO in Gridworks. This is part of the subsidiary DLC in Capitalism Lab. And then headquarters, you buy headquarters and we will establish it somewhere here. Maybe let's put it here. It's right beside the Drew Reinfort store. Yeah. We'll fully set it up with all the departments. So our first step will be to clean up this competition situation, right? 
So this is the Chief Executive Officer's Office. That's Russell Navarro. And we will now click on Hire New and look for someone else. Let's think of what makes sense. Yeah, the company has real estate. We will take away the jewelry business of this company and then the company can do something totally different. And what about food and beverages, for example? So we are looking into, for someone who has expertise in farming. Let's totally refocus the new company. We have here Elizabeth Banks having high expertise in farming, but body care products does not make sense. We have Manuel, also high expertise in farming and beverage. Oh, this makes sense. I as chief executive officer. You offered Manuel a job as chief executive officer for Gridworks. Yeah, he wants a lot of salary. So the company, so he wants 7 million. We are the chairman, so we need to decide whether this is acceptable. We will try it out. However, he will be in charge to manage his company, our subsidiary, in a manner that he finds his finances, of course, in the end, his own annual salary. Let's try this out. Do we accept? Yes, we accept. Before hiring the new chief executive officer, you must terminate the employment of the current one. This is Russell Navarro, where we're competing heavily against him. He started a prize war on us. Um, since he was not receiving any salary, he was actually owning a share and he's not receiving salary. So there's no, nothing we need to need to pay yeah, to him. Yeah, so we will simply proceed. And now we exchange the CEO. We have now Manuel as our new CEO and set up, give him totally different instructions how to do his business with our subsidiary called Gridworks. He may acquire tech, he sell tech. Um, he showed backward integration, I think, is, is, um, is a good idea for if you are expertise in farming and you want to sell products. And retail stores make sense retail, extend production, media, R&D, real estate. Yeah, this is okay. Scope of production, disable all. You should not be active in any fields where we are, product classes where we are interested in. Beverage, since this is his expertise, it's always left open and we will allow food. Everything else, not now. Management policies, um, very balanced. Never sell products below cost, of course. Please no, buy, uh, no price wars against other competitors. Look for better supplies from own or parent company. Yeah, not buy from other firms, try to set up the supply chain by yourself, vertically integrated. This is the instruction here. And um, for better products, own or parent, in external sale, always enable it. And we will ac actually take this one. Issue new shares, no, we don't want that. Invest in other companies, we also don't want this. Close down, liquidate, yeah, this is okay. So I think for now, this looks fine. For the brand, you will change the brand strategy, they made good experience with range brand. And as we only allow beverages and food, only two product classes, only two brands, range brand makes sense. Silver's necklace, the, the business we will drop anyway. So the um, investment into this brand will be lost anyway. So we will switch it now, close it. And now let's do another transaction Yeah, to separate our businesses. We will now Go into Gridworks overview. We will look for into transfer firms. We are not interested in real estate. We are interested in the one factory. We are interested in the jewel and watch stores. Those are apartment buildings. The R&D we can also. And another jewelry store. Another one farm you can keep. Another jewel room. Now we click on transfer selected. And what we see is that when the parent company wants to receive firms from the subsidiary, 
the company, of course, needs to pay a fair market value to the subsidiary. This is 40 million. We don't have it. Yeah, we only have 12 million cash. This means now where I already said we will borrow money from our banks. Yeah, should be fine for now so that we can finance this transfer of the selected firms. So close everything, go into financial actions for LP Corporation, borrow money. We need. Yeah. Maybe this is enough. We would have five million left. Yeah, that's right. Now we have 45 million, almost 46. Now again, go into this view. Transfer firms and select everything, which is jewelry, the one factory. R&D, jewelry and watch stores, farm not interested. Transfer 40 million as just before. LP Corporation, let's do the transaction. Yeah, that's fine. Transferred successfully. Now, suddenly, we paid 40 million to our company, to the other company. We can see this here, we can change it. Now this, the, our subsidiary has gained 40 million in cash, but lost a factory for jewelry and watch stores and an R&D center. And this we can use by our own now. So if we check, do the cross check for Gridworks, which firms, so only apartments, commercial building, one farm and one headquarters left. So this is what Manuel, our new CEO, can work with and extend the business. 40 million is also a lot of money. So good luck with this one. Now, another thing is of interest, of course. If you take over a company, you want to earn money from this company. So how can this company, where you put debt into it, where you invested a lot from your own profits yeah, into the takeover, how to get back the money? Yeah? And it's not as simple as transferring money, cash from one bank account to the other. There must be some kind of mechanism how to transfer money. And one option could be, the financial actions overview um, one option to transfer money from the subsidiary to the parent company is through a dividend this is what we will do or new shares issuing to the parent company new shares we don't want to issue at the moment we will set up a new dividend so we will not let the ceo set the dividend we will set it here i will set the dividend and we will put in a high payout ratio like 40 percent of course um, we should step by step now buy everything else from the company if possible so that the dividend is fully paid out to our parent company and not the public shareholders of russell navarro and so on yeah he's still a stakeholder here let's see how long okay now we did this step still we haven't completed and we cannot move on with the simulation still a few things to clarify and to solve let's look into what we gained as new firms from the firm transfer what we see here here's another another door and we should now stop everything here yeah we should only purchase our own yeah actually this is fine This one, this bracelet, we need to change. We'll take this one. Also this, of course. There's another silver necklace here being sold. This is already from us. Yeah, it's already switched. So this one we managed. There's an R&D center investing into the same as we are already investing. So we will terminate everything. Don't need to 
do double research. We will leave it empty for now. We, we do already research improvement of our production technology for all of the products we offer in NP Corporation. So no need to invest into another research development. We will look into this later. We just leave it at that, at this, as it is. Here is the factory producing silver necklace. This is actually what the jewelry store was selling. I think we will stop this. No, this was a jewelry store and we will link this to um, this one. To the silver necklace. We will produce in our own supply chain, original supply chain and not from the newly acquired supply chain. And uh, this factory we need to change. Um, there's an opportunity. We have already a factory which is producing a sports watch in this city. And it's running with 100% utilization. And still, I think that, let's check. Yeah, still this demand from our retail stores is higher than the supply from this factory. So we will simply double the capacity and set it up the same as here. Electronic components, glass, plastic. This requires a little bit of a few changes here. This must be in purchasing unit and this also. No, all products. We said electronic components. Plastic. And glass. Now it's producing a sport watch. And this we will link to the warehouse here. The current city. Mm. It's still not too clear. Wait, yeah, that is. Now we have our sports watch. Here it is. This comes with nine. Let's put it this way. Yeah, let's check if this works. Yeah, it's coming in. Good, so this is already solved. So let's check the other cities here. Um, doesn't seem that there's another store in Leipzig. No, here, <laughs> yeah, actually, 
Yeah, the answer was hidden behind the building. That's why I didn't see it. And of course, we need to change our own silver necklace. Um, corrupt city in all city bracelet. Link elegant watch. Link elegant watch. So now we are purchasing all from ourselves. This is great. We need to remember that it's hidden here. Not forget to manage this. And there's also one here. Yeah. We need to fix this. Not linked to the seaport, linked to our own supply. Okay. So that we have the same product with the same brand rating and not something random from overseas. Now let's go to Cairo. Yes, here we have another one. Also need to fix it. Yeah, so you see this transaction does not come also with a lot of money you need to get from your own business or from borrow from your bank. Also comes with a lot of tasks yeah, to do to have a meaningful transaction which really generates value to, our, to the business. Yeah, this is solved. Everything of this is Um, and we had this already. Okay, that's great. So now we managed to do this. Let's simulate the rest of the month of August and see how it works and what happens. Of course, our profits, they are a little bit reduced now. Let's fix one thing. Um, no, you will just all yeah and um, interestingly Manuel our new CEO of our subsidiary is already getting active so he's for example here selling frozen pork so he's building up a business model around food he's also probably engaging into farming now let's check how our company yeah that does well so first time it really significantly has profit interesting and this is empty. Of course, the store now also suddenly turning into the profit area. No price for anymore. Now having the usual prices we have in our store stores. By the way, is this true? Let's check. Let's double check. Silver necklace. Yeah, this is still the, we need to clear the stock. Actually, we forgot that. This is the seaport supply with low product rating. So bracelet is fine now. We again need to check. We forgot that. Sorry for that. This one is hidden. So this we need to clear. I think this is fine. Kingston. This we need to clear. Of course, if you clear stock, you do a little bit of loss because clearing something you bought initially. Okay, it's probably fine. This we need to clear. This is fine. I don't need to check this one. Clear the low quality silver necklace. We never sell it at that price. This we can leave. This is fine. Rest it also fine. And Amsterdam, I think this was already solved. Good. Okay. That's it. That's how it worked out. So we, within an hour of our game, we successfully took over our competitor. We stopped the price war. We now have the situation that we own um, and have the market share on our own and we are not competing again. 
against this blue color and area. Yeah, you see that everything is left to us. And as soon as we increase our production with higher efficiency, training our employees, as well as increasing the production through probably doubly, doubling, putting double production sites, establishing, setting up new factories, um, we can even um, supply more and satisfy the demand, which is very high, for example, for gold rings. And at the same time, we can check how our subsidiary is doing. Now we have another, we have another CEO now. So he, I think he changed the setup of the farm and has uh, established a mega store. And in the mega store, he's selling broken pork. So it seems like the, there's already some profit coming in. So this company should be in better state also soon. And um, now we can continue to manage a little bit the situation, our company, improve the position in our existing industries, jewelry and watches, as well as probably emerging into new markets. I have already an idea what we could do, but let's first um, increase um, and use the full Let's first check whether we have no utilization of sales. No, it's simply, simply that we cannot produce as much as is asked for. For silver necklace, it seems to be fine here in the city. Yeah, so let's see here. Establish another floor. Sell on this for more silver necklace. Okay, let's also check the other cities. If the sales unit has a high utilization rate, this is a sign for that more sales unit could sell more. This is a case also here for silver necklace. So let's quickly expand. We have still enough capacity in our production lines. Let's see if this works. And in Kingston, we will check the same. No, seems to be fine. Cairo, yeah, for the gold ring, seems to be fine. For the bracelet, silver necklace, yeah. So here we can definitely extend. And earn more money with silver necklace, okay. selling already more, getting to the profitable area. Okay, that's great so far. Let's complete the month of September. Okay, good news, by the way. What I see is, first of all, new invention researchers, Energy Enhanced, announced an invention. They developed a handheld game console. Not bad. 
congratulations to our competition, but not so interesting for us now. We completed Silver Watch R&D and start another year. This means Silver Watch will gain in production technology, gain in product quality, and our, our overall rating will improve. So after October, let's check all of our stores where we sell it and increase the price if possible, since our overall rating should improved, should have improved massively. We have now more than 25 million on our bank account. Let's quickly check how, oh, this one I didn't want. Gridworks invested a lot of money, it seems. Let's check what they are doing. Always interested in what our, so still one farm retail store. This is what we did. He's selling now frozen chicken, frozen lamb, and frozen pork. The income statement at in the last month was with operating profit. Great. Stopping price war in the subsidiary also stopped making so much losses. And this is interesting to see, right? We had this in another session that price wars can lead to huge losses. This is what exactly happened to Gridworks. While emerging into a market, we already had a good market position um, trying to get into the market with penetration pricing. Even setting a price below the costs will lead to huge losses. And this has happened to the company of Gridworks. And now slowly taking away this unprofitable business, moving it into our LP corporation, which has it set up as profitable business. Now the company, the first time, I guess, can make profits. Small, but can make profits. And even if we look into the um, stock exchange, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, stock price is was has a peak here because we bought and had a huge demand on the market, but um, But um, it did not fall down a lot, so it seems to be improving yeah, slowly. Okay, so now what we also, also wanted to do before closing the session today, we wanted to look into opportunities for another product to offer to customers. And my idea is why? Of course, we have one research and development center we do not use at all. We are doing training. We are doing, of course, we are investing into the operations, but nothing is research. And let's look into what we have as natural resource in our supply chain that we do not still fully leverage on. And I think there is in one city, I need to find it. Yes, here. In one city, we are producing in a farm leather. Yeah, with profit. And we have excess leather, we have much more than we need. It's stored here in the warehouse and um, supplied, I guess, let's check clients as a factory producing the elegant watch. But actually, yeah, so the manufacturing is not keeping up with the pace of um, how it is distributed to the warehouse and from the warehouse to the stores. And therefore, the demand for leather is not so high. Um, let's look what we can else do with leather. Yeah, And if we look into the manufacturer guide, there's a category of leather goods. We can produce a leather bag, textiles we don't have. Leather belts, steel we have in our supply chain and leather we produce by ourselves. This could be something interesting. Leather belt, briefcase, linen we don't have. Wallet, only leather. So also possible to be produced. Let's check leather bag and leather wallet. The markets before entering into an industry, check where the competition is high already, if it is profitable or if you should leave your hands off, right? So for leather wallets, we see that in none of the markets we have a competitor. Um, the market size is not very high as two million the Amsterdam and Cairo, below 1 million in Leipzig and Kingston. 
The overall brand rating is not too bad, but the price seems also to be interesting. More than $100 in all of the cities, despite Cairo. Well, this could be worth. Let's check for the leather belt. Could be a second option. And also here, no competition and market size even lower, so lower. Yeah, maybe this could be a second option. Let's try the leather back. This is a totally new product class. This means we will establish a new brand for leather goods with zero brand rating at the beginning. A lot of investments needed. The, we have a low natural resource quality with 30. We have low product technology. And this means we will be entering the market and competing against competing a lot by pricing first against the local competition and need to invest a lot in production technology and also into the brand. But let's do this. We have money left over. Still, we need to pay back loans from our banks. However, interest rates are fine. We can pay them from the profits we do. And let's simply invest in it. Since um, leather is here in Cairo, Cairo has a low real wage rate. So should be fine to establish it here. So we will simply set up a large factory. We are always looking into setting up economies of scale. So predefined leather wallet. Interesting layout. This looks nice. Oh, we did. <laughs> okay, we did an error. We bought it for the wrong company. We set it up for Gridworks. Ah, yeah, we can fix this quickly. Transfer firms. Select this one. Transfer selective firm. Now it's ours. Now we can use no purchase leather from our own. Same as always. We will first start the production. Here it is. We will set, of course, it's only internal sale. We will set the margin to a lower amount. Yeah, we will only allow a little bit. To have all the flexibility in our retail stores to react to any pricing we need. We will establish as always a warehouse to ease distribution with input, storage, output. Again, we did the same error. Okay, it's getting late. Sorry for that. Transfer firm, warehouse, select. It's not, it's, it's not a big issue since the money is kept within our own company. We need to set this to a big corporation. This is now changed. Yes, good. Now we can do it. Link to leather wallet store it now and redistribute also here we set the margin to a little much lower amount like this okay and now we can sell it in our own stores for example in a leather store why leather store let's first check yeah lp corporation because a leather store comes with a specialty store demand bonus. So we have an even higher demand and the costs are not so high. Yeah, this means the store is smaller, but less cost and demand bonus. Nice for us. And let's check where we find a good, good location with high customer traffic. Usually it's next to our existing stores it's 
what's also going on here, something. <laughs> Maybe this is not too bad. It's, a, it's really at the boundary, but we have customer traffic index 42 here. I don't find a good position somewhere else. Let's choose this. Maybe 45. 45. Let's choose this. This is our first leather store. We will directly go this layout. We will connect to our own warehouse advertisement our CMO will take care of I think it, she's called Olivia here it is and now we need to set the correct price yeah so our overall rating is really bad we have no zero brand rating we have quality 30 which is not good so we need to go down with the price a lot to actually being able to compete with the local competition in Cairo. Yeah, let's try this. Is it working? Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Think Media, this one, and let's establish the brand. Olivia will take over. So this works. Since uh, we have an R&D center, it's somewhere else in Amsterdam. We now also will start R&D for this one. The leather wallet for one year. So we use now the R&D center. We transferred from our hostile taken over Gridworks into our LP corporation. And now what we can do when more money comes into into our bank account. We can also buy leather stores and all of the other subsidiaries. The freight costs should be acceptable because a leather wallet is not a bulky good. Yeah, it's something which we can ship around the world and then sell in all of our, in all of our um, locations, cities. Let's first of all close the month of October. We have another event coming. We made a lot of profits, this is nice. So also Elephant Watch is now done. We wanted now to check for the silver watch in our stores where we sell the silver watch, whether we can increase the price and actually we can, the quality improved. We can increase the price in Amsterdam. We can do the same in the city of Leipzig. Let's check Kingston. No. A little bit also in Kingston. Why do we do R&D? We want to improve our overall rating, improve prices and increase the profitability of a certain product and this serves as a market entry barrier to competitors. Now, if we own a high quality product and the competitor has access to a lower quality product, it's very difficult to enter the market and to compete with us because the price must be set to very low. So this is a huge market entry barrier. We have a high brand awareness. We have an increase in product quality and and still acceptable price compared to the local competition. So it will be really difficult for a competitor to go into this business. No, I didn't want to check this. Yep. Yeah. Also this improved a little bit. Oh, it's improved also a lot. For the Elegant Watch, we need to check all the cities. 
very very soon but now we will still do it first do it for the silver watch increase prices a lot yes that's good this was cairo and back in amsterdam um, in cairo we started our first leather store let's see how it performs yeah it performs well profits coming in we invest a lot in our brand this will in the beginning be not so profitable but still let's move on to the next city i think the next one will be amsterdam which has an interesting market size for lp corporation we will set up a leather store Forty-five, fifty-one, sixty. Sixty. Sixty is good. Sixty. Cities. Leather wallet. Let's get it shipped. And that is, of course, again, yeah, zero brand rating, 30 product quality. We need to find a way better price position to convince the customers that this is actually a good deal. This one should be fine. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. Still have 80 million on our bank account. Let's simply move on to the next city and do the same in Leipzig. Retail store, leather store, 42, 36, now this someone else owns it, 21, 45, looks interesting. Also 45. Let's put it here. This is link to the uh, other wallet. Let's start selling. Here it is. The price position is of course too bad. Need to decrease price. This is called penetration pricing we will set a very low price compared to the competition to compensate for no brand awareness and low quality in the beginning of course this will improve yeah this will improve we are investing to product technology we are investing a lot into the brand olivia no not olivia i think it's her name or cmo we'll take care of that and then we can increase prices this is a strategy if you do this Let's see if it works. Yes, it's actually sold. And we will also do this in Kingston now. This is really a small town. Okay, most of the, okay. This is a, this is a CPD. That's not much going on here. Leather store, 39, 42 is already good. No space here. 57 so this is interesting this is something you should be aware and should make use of you, if you have a store which goes very well for example this one kingston profits two million um, next to it there's always a lot of customer traffic so maybe someone who buys and a jewel a watch or something from you will buy also at the same time go into the next store from you and buy another product class Link. Now we set everything up. Leather wallet arrived. Trade costs are not so high. Let's check. Yeah, not so high. It's relative, right? Production cost is 20, 1, 167, and trade costs are 8 to Kingston. Yeah, but still a lot of high margin left. Yeah, we need to again increase, decrease the price. be able to compete 
with the local competition. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now we can keep the simulation for the month of November. Let's check on 1st of December, the price position for our Elegant watch. We did, we made an advancement in production technology, so the overall product rating should have improved a lot. Yeah, here we sell it, so we can set the price for the city in here. Yeah, see 90, 62, there's a lot of room to increase price. Let's do a heavy price increase. The demand is so high, this will work out. Yes, definitely. Okay, this was Cairo, now Amsterdam. Here. Uh, this is elegant watch. Also here we are below of what is possible. Oh, just remembering to save the game. Save game, save new. So this is fixed in Amsterdam, now Leipzig. Never forget, although this game will consume a lot of your time and you will get really focused and lose track of time, and never forget to save from time to time. You never know what happens, power disruptions, computer breakdown. A game that crashes, running out of memory, and then you will not be happy at all to lose all of the progress after hours of playing. We have a competitor here. Yeah. I think it's a retail competitor. Let's quickly check now out. Mm, arrow company retail however seems like it's not going well at the latest time never mind cairo i think we already fixed it yeah so let's close the year and then close the session and do a short wrap up christmas is over now and we are 1st of January 1992, we have almost 40 million on our bank account, huge profits, our income statement really looking well. In last month alone, we had an operating profit of more than 17 million um, in our lifetime. This already making profit more of more than 90 million, almost 100 million. We'll reach this really soon. Let's check for our subsidiary. In this session, we have taken over the subsidiary, the um, former competitor manager with expertise in jewelry competed heavily against us, started price wars. We were very cautious not entering the price wars, instead reacting with other measures to it. However, after taking it over, separating our businesses, Stopping price was stopping competition between our businesses. We now came to LP Corporation having a nicely running um, running business with less risks and Gridworks. Let's see how they do. In last month there was a small loss. Yeah, it's only small. In lifetime, yeah, it's still not looking perfectly well. They still have cash. Not so much loan at the moment. We have significantly more, 50 million. 
it works. So maybe he paid back something on stock exchange. Yeah, it's not nice. It does not look nice, but it's fine. So, so for our parent company, things are going well. Yeah, increasing profits, just entered a new market, leather wallets, and we can even ex extend to further product types of the same product class. For our acquired company, still I would say it needs to prove itself. We have a new CEO, he needs to manage it well, yeah, so that soon that the situation improves. And the company is now investing into um, livestock products, frozen chicken, frozen lamb, frozen pork, and selling it in one retail store. Let's check it out and go there. Yeah. So actually it seems like um, it's working towards a break even already doing 3 millions of revenue. I'm sure this will after a while work out.